Hi guys, I'm Dips and welcome to another Warhammer 3 modding video. Today we're going to go through how to add attributes and abilities to different units. As always, leaving a like or subscribing lets me know that people want to see more of these so it's always much appreciated. So we're going to start it off with adding attributes to units as that's the slightly more complicated of the two. If you're just here for a refresher, the tables you need are on the screen at the moment. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is you want to create your new my mod and you want to add those three tables. Land units tables, units attributes groups tables, and unit attributes to groups junction tables. So if you've forgotten how to do that, there should be a video up in the top right. But basically you click my mod, new my mod, you call it whatever you want, click save. And then you want to left click the pack file, right click, create, and create db. These three rows should turn up and keep this as the same as your pack file name and then you want to come down here and type in uh, for the lands units table we'll type land underscore unit and just click uh, which one you actually want so here so once you got these three up you're going to want to double click to pin it up here and you if you don't have a row up here you'll right click and just click add row so we need to go into the uh, data pack so i'm just use dependencies and we're going to type in land units and db there we go double click to pin it up and we're going to be working with scarbrand again so you can just left click and we'll just copy that all the way so once you've copied and pasted onto your folder we want to come across and today we're going to be looking at where is it attribute groups just here so we're going to be making our own custom attribute group, adding attributes to it, and that'll change Skybrand's attributes in the game. So to do that, we're going to come down to Unit Attributes Groups table. We're going to right click, add row, and then we're going to call it, well, whatever you want. I'm going to call mine's dips, uh, Skybrand. All right. Then you want to come down to Unit Attributes to Groups Junctions table, and add a row. And then if you double click here and come to this little arrow, yours should be at the very top, what you put in the adding attributes. So we're just going to add some random attributes here. Um, expendable. Um, you can really call it, grab whatever you want, but... Uh, and give them the mark of Nurgle. That's nice and distinctive. Cool. So then we want to come back into land units. And we're going to click as attribute group and scroll all the way to the top because that's where your attribute group should be. Then you can just save it, install, and launch the game. So as usual, just come into your mod manager. Make sure your mod is turned on. Play. It'll tell you it's on. And then you can click play again. Cool. So now we're here. We can go into battle. Skirmish versus AI. Select your corn and grab up Skybrand. And you'll see here that he has Expendable and a Mark of Nurgle. Now stuff like Siege Attacker and Demonic Stability is from other categories that we're not going to go into in this video. But yeah, so that's the basics on adding attributes. Now adding ability is actually far more simple, only requiring one table. Okay, so we just need the Lands Unit to Unit Abilities Junctions table. And if you double click to open that up, you'll see we have an ability and the land, un land unit key. So you don't have to bother with the groups like we did with the attributes. So we're going to go into game files and we're going to look up land units. I'm going to come down, open that up, and we're going to go back to Scarbrand. And we'll just copy his key and we'll pop that in there. Now, just to double check you got the right thing, you can go down to here, click check pack file, and if it's wrong, it should come up with an error. So you actually want to figure out where, what all the abilities are, and you know, which one you want to add. You just kind of come down and you want to open up the database version. And we can search for land unit, and let's find something that's like a dragon breath attack will work. And... Yeah, let's grab the hunger actually, that works. Grab the hunger, just copy it and pop it in abilities. Then same as always, you want to go ahead and save, then install and launch the game. Once 
Once that's all loaded up, again, same as always, you want to come down, click on your mod one at a time just for compatibility stake at the moment, and just click play and play again. So once you've saved and installed the mod, you want to come into Skirmish vs AI, we'll click on Skybrand again, and you should see whatever ability you added, or for in our case, the hunger, down here. And that's how you add abilities to units. Well congratulations, you now know how to add abilities and attributes to units. If you did enjoy, the best way to let me know is to leave a like or subscribe. And if you're looking for somewhere to go next, I'll leave some guides in the description or feel free to have a look at some of the other videos in my playlist.